Number one, subscribe. Number two, hit the bell. Number three, share it. Number four, leave a comment, please. Well done, A++ for you. Hello everyone, I'm Professor Hatter. Welcome to a history lecture video. It's part six today. It's gonna be a short video, and I am sure about that this time. I only got three hats today. Kind of a, um, it's not that they're insignificant, but uh, not too much of a story behind these hats. Uh, except for the first one. But I uh, just figured, you know, kind of going in like phases of hats and kind of like good chunks of hats to talk about. Um, these three were good enough to talk about in kind of like their own segment before I get into uh, some really good hats afterwards. So, just a so quick lecture today. Still get out some notebooks, pen, pencil, paper, whatever you need for note taking. Just a few quick notes. Maybe a post it note might help. But yeah, let's just get into a few quick hats here. Class is in session. First hat to show you today is hat number 31, which is my Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library and Museum dad hat. It's, it's a nice hat. It's pretty simple. It, a lot of it blends into each other here, as you can see on the front there, freeze frame. where you got the presidential seal, and then you have his flat stitched, then you have his signature, uh, A. Lincoln, in uh, black cursive and puffed raised stitching, and then gold stitching around the signature. Uh, nothing on the sides, just a, it's kind of like a charcoal gray, I would say. Yeah, it will go with charcoal gray. On the back, it's, adjustable and if you can see on the button I'll try to pause it and show it to you in a better angle there it's the profile of Abraham Lincoln himself so I had an internship at this establishment the library and museum I worked in the library portion I worked through the museum process of the education department I spent four weeks down there Four of the best weeks in uh, summer of 2017, despite a few other things that had happened. Uh, four of the best weeks. I lived on campus at University of Illinois Springfield, took the bus each day, and noticed that, it, I mean, it's not like a huge campus compared to like, you know, the bigger name school campuses, but I figured, you know what, I'm not going to complain about going from one end to the other end of campus at Concordia, because that's like a street block or two at Concordia, but this one was like a really big campus, comparatively speaking. So I had a internship with the education department. The big project we were working on was Civil War technology, and that month's big topic for July was about music and the instruments, which was kind of a interesting topic because it didn't really go with technology, but it was talking about, like, you know, the way that it was used and the methods of, like, communication. So it kind of snuck in there as technology. I didn't care. I was excited about it because my background of music and playing trombone, it helped a lot. I got to see the forefathers of the brass family and got to see a bunch of weird older cousins and uncles, aunt and uncle, that I never had seen before in the brass family. So, it was a really cool experience, and had this hat on the last day, I got it, and this hat I got from the gift shop. There was a really nice uh, symbol of the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Library Museum uh, lo logo stamped on the front of the hat. It was beige and a navy cap. No, it was, it was beige and a navy brim, and it was in a kid size, so I... Couldn't get it. But this is a really cool hat, too. Again, especially because of the signature on the front there. So, hat number 31 is... This is a cool dad hat. And let's move on to the next two hats. Because they kind of go in tandem with each other. So, hats number 32 and then 33 are blank hats. I know you're thinking, well, what's so special about them? Not too much, really. It's just that they were good hats, and I didn't realize this was like going to be a full-on wool hat. I thought this was going to be like a kind of shaded down or trimmed down 
uh, hat material. These two hats are from Lids. They both are snapbacks, green underbrims, and let's see, yeah, Lids and Lids branding on the inside. That that one, and then this one. They had a nice red version of this hat that was in a light lighter red, but didn't get it. It went out of stock, so that's another lost hat of mine. Uh, this one is 100% cotton. And then this one, I'm sure, is 100% wool. Uh, oh, 45% uh, wool, 30% polyester, 25% cotton. Very interesting. But especially with this hat, I only wear this mainly in the fall time when it's getting cooler out. It kind of seems like a, like a more cool weather hat than in the summer. Because I'm sure if I went out right now and... You know, just wore this around my head. My head would be sweating uncontrollably and just be a disaster. And then this is a nice summer hat that I wear as much as I can. I always forget about it because it's not on the wall. It used to be on the wall, but it's on like the main rack of my um, closet for my hats there. So these are just ten dollar hats I got from Liz when it was a big sale when Liz was cool online. So that's uh, why I got those two hats. Alright, it was kind of a quick class session, and um, just, uh, you know, put it together. So, these are hats number 31, 32, and 33. Uh, comment down below if you've ever gotten any blank hats just because they were cool looking. Uh, you need something to go with your fashion look. Uh, have you ever gotten a hat on vacation? If you're new to the class, subscribe to the channel here. It's always fun for hat topics. And, like the video. You know what to do. You've seen YouTube YouTubers cling to desperation for any subs and any attention at all, so that's me too. As always, thank you for watching. Hats off to you. Have a good day, everyone. Class dismissed. Bye.